Now we have here sample problem for our solid fuel. So a furnace. So it is a part with sub bituminous sub uh, bituminous B sub B coal containing 10.3 percent of moisture. So we have 30 percent BCM and 7.7 percent ash, and it is also known to contain 1.2 percent nitrogen and 1.57 percent sulfur. So its calorific value is 22 megajoule. So calculate its a uh, approximate analysis, and we b modified analysis, c ultimate analysis, and d analysis of volatile combustible material, and e the calorific value of the uh, volatile combustion material. And F, the air fuel ratio with 50% excess air. Now, in a typical household, no, yung sinasabi na dito sa problem, so furnace is ganito. So, you're going to put inside the coal here and you have your combustion dito. So, this is a typical household furnace uh, which is used in for heating of ng mga bahay or some spaces usually in cold places uh, especially America or Europe yung, yung mga malalamig na area so they have a boil, uh, boiler and a furnace inside their basement so coal or diesel are used in a furnace to start a combustion and then those heated air is used to boil or the water in a boiler and distribute it in the typical household so this is um a simple uh, uh, representation or images of a simple furnace and yung coal are introduced in the combustion chamber by me making using the pala no so there's a so uh, there is a stockpile so coal is introduced by making using yung, pa, yung pala and to, to have a continuous combustion now for industrial so that is used uh, for a coal power plant so there is a systematic way of introducing so hindi na gumagamit ang pala pala so that is means by using a hopper and conveyors uh, ang ginagamit to introduce the coal inside the combustion chamber and it is also one way to continuously no yung supply ng amount of coal so that is already calculated so how much is flowing flowing or how much is the bullion flow rate are you required to feed in the boiler in order to maintain the combustion so mag ano na siya systematic way but in a typical household, yung gumagamit ng coal, okay, so ganito ang by means. So take note nga pala class, no? so yung coal na sinasabi ko dito, this, this is different yung ginagamit natin sa bahay, yung mga uling. So magkaiba yan. So that is a uh, wood charcoal. Charcoal, coal, oh, no? so wood that is made of wood. Na yung coal that is used in industry, na sinasabi ko yung katulad yung sub-bituminous so they are classified so that is being mined so when we say mine minimina siya from uh, uh, from a mountain or any uh, sources that have an abundance of sources of new coal so hindi siya totally yung uh, uling na nabibili natin siya sa market so this is being mined from or the, uh, dig under from the uh, under the beneath the surface of the earth okay so what i have here class now is a um, basic system of a coal power plant so mapapansin niyo dyan, we have here your coal okay so this is the delivery okay or the stock storage so we have here your conveyor papunta dito sa boiler natin and where is the combustion will take place so mapapasin dyan we have here your coils of uh, coils of uh, uh, bi pipes so usually this is made of bi pipe so that is a coil 
So usually, typically, papakuluan natin siya. You will boil the water inside the pipe. So the heat that is being transferred from the combustion of the coal, so absorbed by the uh, water inside the pipe, so it becomes steam. So once it becomes steam, it's used to, anen, to propel yung steam turbine, steam turbine, and then to generate the power. So this is a common, typically, so for industrial use, that uh, uh, common, common schematic diagram. Now, yung we're concentrating here is only on here. We're, we merely concentrating in the combustion of the uh, solid fuels that were being used. Now, so mapapansin nyo, we have there uh, uh, given the percentage of 7.7% seven point seven percent ash so mapapansin nyo dyan so after the combustion so usually may E1 uh, na lang na solid materials we have your ash so mapapansin nyo meron tayong bottom ash dito which is the exit so it is being sucked into as, uh, ash disposal so meron yung conveyor to continuously get dung, ano, yung proper uh, tawag dito yung properties ng ash so Ito yung uh, common, no? O common. So, we have here yung cooling tower. So, it's not part of the anong. But at least, uh, it is usually mostly used in cooling. Cooling in, and cooling of the uh, steam from the uh, uh, from the exit of the steam turbine. Okay, so let's start the solution dito. So, let's start with the proximate analysis natin. Now, for our solution, so for determining your a no so let's go to the a we're looking for the proximate analysis of this one so for the proximate analysis so take now we need to write down what are the properties of your proximate analysis okay remembering from our previous lecture no so proximate analysis so it has to determine so it has to determine the moisture uh, volatile combustible material bcm and we have to determine what is the ash percentage and also we need to determine what is the fixed carbon of the coal so from this basis uh, no so what we have so from a base uh, basis natin from here so what we have here so, so problem now we have 10.3 percent of moisture. So I'm gonna write that one. So for proximate analysis, so we have 10.3 percent of moisture. Okay. Then for volatile, volatile combustible matter, so your BCM, we have 34 percent. So that is also already given to the problem, your BCM. Now for the ash. So that it's also given to the problem, so that will be 7.7 percent percent of ash. So what we don't have now is your peaks carbon. Okay. So with with the yun na lang yung unknown. Now from here, mawapansin yung number for peaks carbon. So that is obtained by the difference of 100 percent to the sum of the moisture BCM and ash. So, our fixed carbon now can be solved by means of difference. So, we have 100, okay? Minus the moisture, we have 10.3. Then, your BCM, so we have 34%. Then, our ash, it will be 7.7%. So, the difference ng values nito, we have the 48% of your fixed carbon. Okay, so let's go to letter B. So, na kwa na natin yung answer at A. So, that will be letter B. Let's go to the modified analysis. So, remembering from our previous lecture, modified analysis. So, we need to determine the carbon, uh, nitrogen, sulfur, and ash. So, we need to determine also the moisture. And we need to determine the combined water and the net hydrogen of the, uh, of the coal. Okay, so listing that one, so what we don't have dito is your carbon. So carbon is unknown. 
So for our moisture, we have your moisture, which is 10.3 percent. So percent, we have your moisture. Then we have 7.7 percent of your ash. Then we have 1.2 percent. percent of nitrogen then we have 1.57 percent of your sulfur so what we don't have na lang which is not given to the problem is your carbon and your net hydrogen so that is unknown also and also our combined water is also unknown so, in order to determine the carbon, so we'll be you will be employing yung uh, using the Car, uh, Calderwood equation. Now, bringing down our Calderwood equation, so um, from here, yung unknown na lang what we don't have, so uh, is the value of your Okay, so we have the value for your BCM, so that BCM is 34%, and where our BCM is already computed, so that is equal to 34%, no? Then our fixed carbon is already, how much that one? So that will be 48, na? Okay, so that is already given dito na na natin siya previously. And our carolific value is equal to 22. So that would be megajoule per kilogram. So we have the value for your carolific, sulfur, your BCM, and your fixed carbon. So I think we're good to go to solve the equation. Okay, so let's try to solve now right, and substitute na natin yung values for your Calderwood equation. So we have now your carbon that will be 5.88 no? plus 2.206 then multiply by the carolipic value which is 22 megajoule per kilogram minus uh, 0 0.0. .0 so that will be 9 times the value of your sulfur which is 1 point so that will be 0 0.094 sorry this is 4.094 uh, multiplied by the value of your sulfur which is uh, 1.57 no so i'm going to close parenthesis this one then plus we have 0 0.0 that will be 0, 0.53. So, close parenthesis natin that we multiply to 80. So, minus our value, which is yung, ay yung uh, given uh, sa equation, we have your 100. Then, multiply by the value of your BCM. So, our BCM, which is 34. So, that we multiply to 34 over your fixed carbon which is 48 no then this is raised to the power of 1.55 okay so finally solving that one using your calculator so for our carbon okay so we have 54.25 percent Okay, so that solves the value of your carbon for the modified analysis. Now, now we're going to next. We're going to solve for the net hydrogen. So we'll be employing uh, the Dudum's formula to solve the net hydrogen. Okay, so employing our Dudum's formula. So we have your for computing your Dudum's formula using your Dudum's. So, in carolific value, that is equal to 0 0.338, so that will be your carbon, plus 1.44, so that will be your 
multiply to H minus uh, oxygen over 8 plus 0 0.094 for sulfur. So this equation is, is equal to 0 0.338 that will be your carbon plus 1.44 the net hydrogen plus 0 0.094 which is multiplied for your sulfur. Now we can derive our equation from here to get your net hydrogen. So, substituting yung values natin, we can now further, uh, uh, we can solve the value for your net hydrogen. So, let's substitute yung value for your, to get yung, ano natin. So, we have yung carolific value. So, for that one, so we have 22, di ba? So, that is the carolific value of your coal. So, that will be 22, which is equal to, 0 0.338 multiplied by your carbon plus 1.44 then we have your net hydrogen okay then 